It was a tough day on the field for national short put champion Kelsey Mura Ross, who finished 10th in the women's short put final Thursday evening at the 2023 Santiago Pan American Games. Ross, who was hoping to medal at the Games, had an overall best throw of 15.88 meter. The national short put champion had this to say after falling short of making the final round. Well, going into the competition, I was confident, but then after I had an upset stomach and I wanted to throw up, so I'm not feeling quite well. But um, there was some improvement in my technique. However, I have to go back to the drawing board and figure out some more stuff to improve on a higher level. Meanwhile, Dennis Hazard, chef de mission of the Great Olympic Committee, shed some light on the unfortunate incident surrounding national sprinter Halle Hazard, who had to rerun her 100-meter race immediately after winning her heat on Monday. Halle did not qualify on her second attempt to move on to the final after placing fourth in a time of 11.77 seconds. Williams noted that the appeal to revisit the judge's decision to recall the women's 100-meter semifinal race at the 2023 Santiago Pan American Games was made within the time frame. She said a prompt decision was made the same day to have the decision reviewed. However, the time had elapsed in their attempt to ascertain what happened. We wrote the letter on the very same night we sent it out to the persons in charge of track at the, at the stadium. In the morning I went to the chef's meeting and I brought it up at the meeting. I was given an answer that didn't sound too plausible. And then eventually we went to the artist to try to investigate it and the final person we went to was the truck judge at the stadium. Came, the coach and I came to the stadium to try to ascertain what happened and he said that it was a false risk. Two athletes twitched and so the system that was used picked up the twitch and as a result they had to call back the race. What he's saying is that they did recall the race more than once but the athletes did not hear. The chef de mission of the Great Olympic Committee called the incident unfortunate and said the final decision by the officials was not in the best interest of the affected athletes. Coming to Hani in the 100 meters was very unfortunate and I don't think it was the best the decision, was not the best thing for the athletes. When upon investigation, the chief um, track judge said it was a recall risk and because they jumped the, jumped the gun and so they had to run it over. Well, we do not think it was the best decision, especially for the athletes. I don't think the athletes' mental state was considered or anything like that because I don't think they got enough rest to run the race. Some of them complained that they did not hear the gun. The official said that they fired the gun many times. As I said, it's very unfortunate for the athletes. Albert Joseph, national athletics coach, believes that Hazard came into the second race at a disadvantage and was denied the opportunity to qualify and possibly earn a medal in the final. World Athletics Guidelines states that protests concerning the results or conduct of an event shall be made within 30 minutes of the official announcement of the result of that event. The guidelines also state that protests concerning the status of an athlete to participate in a competition must be made before the commencement of such competition to the technical delegate. Once the technical delegate makes a decision, there shall be a right to appeal to the jury of appeal. If the matter cannot be settled satisfactorily before the competition, the athlete shall be allowed to compete on the protest and the matter be referred to the relevant governing body. Nisha Peters, GBN Sports.